Peacock bird. Peacock, also called peafowl, any of three species of resplendent birds of the pheasant family, Phasianidae, order Galliformes. Strictly, the male is a peacock, and the female is a peahen, both are peafowl. The two most recognizable species of peafowl are the blue, or Indian, peacock, Pavo cristatus of India and Sri Lanka, and the green, or Javanese, peacock, P. muticus, found from Myanmar, Burma, to Java. The Congo peacock, Afropavo congensis, which inhabits the forested interior of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, was discovered in 1936 after a search that began in 1913 with the finding of a single feather. Natural History In blue and green peacocks, the male has a 9130 cm, 3550 inch, body and 150 cm, 60 inch, train of tail feathers that are colored a brilliant metallic green. This train is mainly formed of the bird's upper tail coverts, which are enormously elongated. Each feather is tipped with an iridescent eye spot that is ringed with blue and bronze. In courtship displays, the cock elevates his tail, which lies under the train, thus elevating the train and bringing it forward. At the climax of this display, the tail feathers are vibrated, giving the feathers of the train a shimmering appearance and making a rustling sound. The blue peacock's body feathers are mostly metallic blue-green. The green peacock, with a train much like that of the blue, has green and bronze body feathers. Hens of both species are green and brown and are almost as big as the male but lack the train and the head ornament. In the wild, both species live in open lowland forests, flocking by day and roosting high in trees at night. During the breeding season, the male forms a harem of two to five hens, each of which lays four to eight whitish eggs in a depression in the ground. The eggs are incubated by the peahen until they hatch some 28 days later. The chicks have all of their feathers when they emerge from their eggs and are capable of flight roughly one week after hatching. Most blue and green peafowl become sexually mature at age 3. However, some male blue peafowl have been known to breed as early as age 2. 10 Feathery Facts About Peacocks With its massive tail and iridescent colors, this bird has long fascinated its human observers and we're still learning its secrets. For example, a study recently published in the British Journal of Animal Behavior says that when a peacock fans its ornamented train for the ladies during mating season, its feathers quiver, emitting a low-frequency sound inaudible to human ears. Depending on whether they want to attract females from far away or up close, they can change the sound by shaking different parts of their feathers. They're not the only animals that create infrasonic sounds. Elephants produce them with their vocal cords, most likely to communicate over long distances. Here are a few other interesting facts about these impressive birds. One only the males are actually peacocks. The collective term for these birds is peafowl. The males are peacocks and the females are peahens. The babies are called peachicks. 2A family of peafowl is called a bevy. A group of the birds is also sometimes called an ostentation, a muster, or even a party. 3. They're not born with their fancy tail feathers. The male peachicks don't start growing their showy trains until about age 3. In fact, it's hard to tell the sex of a peachick because they're nearly identical to their mothers. At around 6 months, the males will begin to change color. 4. They don't have to be killed for their feathers. Luckily, the peacocks shed their train every year after mating season, so the feathers can be gathered and sold without the birds coming to any harm. The average lifespan of a peacock in the wild is about 20 years. 5. They can fly, despite their massive trains. A peacock's tail feathers can reach up to 6 feet long and make up about 60% of its body length. Despite these odd proportions, the bird flies just fine, if not very far. 6. There are all white peafowl. Thanks to selective breeding, it's common for captive peafowl to buck the iridescent trend for all white feathers. This is called leucism, and it's due to a genetic mutation that causes loss of pigmentation. These peafowl are often mistaken for being albino, but instead of having red eyes, animals with leucism retain their normal eye color. 7. Peacocks were a delicacy in medieval times. 
The birds were plucked, roasted, and then redressed in their feathers to appear in their original life state on the dinner table. Here's the presentation instructions from one recipe. Win the SKYN. With the feathers day and the tail of ought. The body, and sear him forth as he. Were a live. The birds may have looked beautiful, but they reportedly tasted terrible. It was tough and coarse, and was criticized by physicians for being difficult to digest and for generating bad humors, writes Melita Weiss Adamson in her book Food in Medieval Times. 8. They can fake IT. These birds aren't just nice to look at, they're also clever, according to one recent study. When peacocks mate with peahens, they give out a loud copulatory call. Canadian researchers Rosalind Dakin and Robert Montgomery discovered that the birds can fake this call to attract more females. As the BBC's Ella Davies put it, by pretending they are mating when they are not, the birds could convince females they are more sexually active and therefore genetically fitter than their rivals. In fact, one third of the calls heard by researchers were fake, and the birds that made them scored the most hookups. Sneaky, sneaky. 9. Their feathers are covered in tiny crystal-like structures. What makes the peacock's feathers so brilliant? Microscopic crystal-like structures that reflect different wavelengths of light depending on how they're spaced, resulting in bright fluorescent colors. Hummingbirds and shimmering butterflies have mastered a similar visual effect on their own wings. 10. A peacock's crest acts as a sensor for mating. A female peacock has special sensors in her crest that allow her to feel the vibrations of mate who may be located far away. According to The Atlantic, the feathers are tuned to vibrate at the exact same frequencies at which a displaying peacock rattles his tail. Whenever a male peacock fans his tail, he shakes it at a rate of 26 times a second, creating a pressure wave that literally rattles the female's head for attention. Fun Peacock Facts for Kids Check out our range of fun peacock facts for kids. Learn about the fact that peacocks are the male only of the bird called a peafowl, why the peacock has such beautiful feathers, where peacocks are native to and much more. Peacock is commonly used as the name for a peafowl of the pheasant family. But in fact peacock is the name for the colorfully plumaged male peafowl only. The females are called peahens, they are smaller and gray or brown in color. The name of a baby peafowl is a peachick. Peacocks are best known for their amazing eye-spotted tail feathers or plumage. During a display ceremony the peacock will stand its tail feathers up to form a fan that stretches out nearly 2 m in length. This colorful display is believed to be a way to attract females for mating purposes, and secondly to make the peacock look bigger and intimidating if he feels threatened by predators. There are three varieties of peafowl, the Indian, the green and the Congo. The most common type of peafowl found in many zoos and parks around the world is the Indian peafowl. The head and neck of which is covered in shining, blue feathers arranged like scales. It is native to South Asia areas of Pakistan, Sri Lanka, and India, where it is the national bird. The Congo peafowl is native to Central Africa. It doesn't have a large plumage like other varieties. It is the national bird of the Democratic Republic of Congo. The green peafowl is native to Southeast Asia, it has chrome green and bronze feathers. It lives in areas such as Myanmar, its national symbol, and Java. It is regarded as an endangered species due to hunting and a reduction in its habitat. White varieties of peacocks are not albinos, they have a genetic mutation that causes the lack of pigments in the plumage. Peacock feathers accounts for 60% of the bird's total body length and with a wingspan measuring 5 feet, it is one of the largest flying birds in the world. A peafowl can live to over the age of 20 years, the peacock's plumage looks its best when the male reaches the age of 5 or 6. Peacocks have spurs on their feet that are primarily used to fight with other males. Peafowl are omnivorous. They eat many types of plants, flower petals, seeds, insects, and small reptiles such as lizards. In Hindu culture, Lord Karthikya, the god of war, is said to ride a peacock.